Hi there, I'm Alex. So we're the distributor for Rode in the UK. Um, we are showing some new things from Rode. So Rode microphones have been very busy and we've got a bunch of very new things actually. Um, one of them actually we only got today, which is this new wireless filmmaker kit. So this is very exciting and it's something that we've been asked for for ages. Like why don't you make a wireless kit? Obviously we make mics, Rode make headset mics and lavaliers and um, the pin mic as well. Um, here's the answer. So this is the first in a number of kits and these, this is called the Filmmaker Kit. And the Filmmaker Kit consists of a wireless body pack transmitter, a lavalier, which is Rode's broadcast lavalier mic. You get the connector and then you also get this receiver unit and the receiver unit has a cable which just terminates in a three and a half mil connection. So the kind of first and foremost person or usage that they see this for is for folks with DSLRs. Of course, this can be adapted. Under this desk, we're showing this actually with it using an XLR connector. And what we do is we buy the Rode VXLR and that converts the three and a half mil to a XLR connector. So you can use it with you know, Zoom H4s, Zoom H6s, all of the portable recorders, totally fine. But it's really cool. It can plug straight into a DSLR. The other thing is it's just everything is included. So you buy the kit, you have a wireless system and it's ridiculously easy to use. So I'll show you it, let's turn it on. So you just turn on the body pack, on, and then I'll turn on the receiver, on. You see it has a neat little OLED screen and the receiver is gonna sniff out the transmitter. And then in a couple of seconds, this will ping and it will be receiving. Ping, so there you go. That's now set up. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to do any manual setup. You can set up multiple channels and you can have multiple units in the same room and you can lock them so that they always pair with the same transmitter and receiver. But to get it going, you just literally do that and you're done. And it's then outputting over three and a half mil connections. Um, and the technology behind it is digital. It's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless system. Um, it's very clever. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Namely, there's a lot of very clever things to do with the transmission. So it's always transmitting over two frequencies at once. And the receiver is listening to both frequencies and favoring the strongest one. So it's got redundancy built in. It will always give you a nice strong connection so that the aim is it's just as reliable as a wired connection. And you don't have to do anything to make that stuff happen. It just happens automatically for you. So you just buy it, pair it, and go. Sounds great, sounds very, very clean, and it's a digital system. It just sounds pristine in this room. Um, what else to say about it? Oh, um, there's a couple of little hidden things. If you open up the transmitter, you can see in here, we have a couple of controls to control the hotness of the output, how loud the transmission is. And what's cool is that we've got the 20 dB boost built in. You may recognize that from products like the Rode VideoMic Pro and the Stereo VideoMic Pro. The 20 dB boost mode is designed for DSLR users and it means that if you t engage that, we're getting a nice, hot, clean signal out of the um, wireless system into our camera. What we do is we knock down the input level of the camera and what you're left with is a really clean sounding result. Clean as in free of hiss. So you can get a really professional result without the need for an external recorder, but you can totally adapt it to use with one. So just dead friendly, dead easy to use, and it will obviously work. I mean, initially this kit is, comes with the Lavalier, but I mean, there'll be more kits. You can also use the headset mic if you prefer that, or the uh, pin mic as well. And of course, there's loads of really cool things you can do with Lavaliers, especially if you're doing filmmaking. You can hide Lavaliers, you can conceal them in things, so hence Filmmaker Kit. It's not just for a you know, sort of broadcast with it clipped into your tie, they anticipate you'll use this in filmmaking. So that's all good. And there is also the NTG4 range. So these are two new shotgun mics. You can see them either side of my Canon. And there's an NTG4 and there's an NTG4 Plus. And these mics are actually kind of a step up from the NTG2 in terms of sound and features. Um, and the NTG3 is still a current product. The NTG3 has RF biasing and a particular sound. It's a um, beautiful sounding mic. And these sit in the middle of those two. And the, they both have very neat digital switching built in. So you can see here, we have actually controls built into the mic itself. So we have a 10 dB pad, and you just turn it on by pushing the button. And you've got a 75 Hertz high pass filter. It's very useful for taking out rumble. Um, 
The other thing which is really unique is we've actually got a high frequency boost. And the idea of this is it's a little subtle high frequency lift designed for when you are using these with a blimp or a, um, you know, the foam cover, which can attenuate, attenuates a little bit of the high frequencies. This allows you to just compensate for that kind of in camera, in mic as it were. Um, both of them are phantom powered mics. The reason that this is the NTG4 Plus, sonically they're the same, they have the same controls. It's the NTG4 Plus because it has its own battery supply built in. So if I unplug this, which is tricky to do one handed, you can see that it immediately switches to its own power. There's a little battery in here. What's neat, you probably can't see this, but right up in the XLR connector is a micro USB cable uh, connector. And you get a micro USB cable with it. What you do is you plug that in, charge it for two hours, and it'll, after a two hour charge, it'll run for over 150 hours, phantom powering itself. So this is designed so that you can turn phantom power off on your portable recorder and you get, you know, as a system, you get a lot more life out of your recordings. You know, it can be difficult to phantom power a portable recorder for a whole day unless you have share in Duracell batteries. Um, so something to consider, a very cool product. It has a new capsule, which has a smooth sound. It's really nice. Um, low noise, obviously, very low noise. So if you don't have the greatest preamp in the world, you maybe are a bit far, far away from your subject, you need to give it a bit more gain, but well, you're not gonna get additional hiss with that game. So, wicked products. So, that's the Filmmaker kit in the NTG4, the NTG Plus, 4 Plus, new for BVE from Rode. So, those are out very soon. In fact, these are shipping now. And this Filmmaker kit, look for that in April. So, that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching, guys.